you. Thank you very much. You know the hallmark of a great introduction? Is it gets you really excited for what the speaker's gonna say. And I have to tell you, after that introduction, I'm really excited to hear me speak. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna be really good. always going to have standards for yourself that the world doesn't have for you. And the world is always going to have standards for us that we don't have for ourselves. So really what we need to find is the middle ground, the, the happy medium of where those two intersect. I would say not to follow the status quo or the trend unless you always want to be defined by that. L listen to that again. Don't follow the trend or the status quo unless you always want to be defined by that. What you focus on, you create more of. When are you going to start focusing on the greatness that is within you and stop focusing on your flaws? You want to change the world, then focus on the skills you have to do that. Ecclesiastes 1.9 says there's nothing new under the sun. Picasso said that art is theft. William Ralph Inge said that originality is nothing more than undetected plagiarism. Kobe Bryant said there are no new moves. It's all stolen from other people. If there is nothing new under the sun, as scripture says, what a blow to those of us who consider ourselves highly creative, original, and constantly striving to create something new. But in fact, what I can tell you is there's hope. See, we all have different parameters. We all have different lives and struggles and challenges. So we're ultimately going to have to decide for ourselves, regardless of what the world says, is success for us. You get to decide what success is. And I would say, don't listen to the naysayers and embrace all the people that encourage you along the way. You need them for your journey. <laughs>